Cory Booker is on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, so this attack in Baghdad is very much in his portfolio. But he's also in the middle of a campaign, and the days here are dwindling. So by and large, he's stuck to the stump speech. He didn't mention Iraq, Iran, or Commander Soleimani until we asked him about it specifically. Senator, on the killing of Commander Soleimani, um, your thoughts in whether or not you think the president had the authority to do that? and what the ramifications may be of that action going forward for the region and for national security. So first and foremost, Suleimani is a person that has been involved in horrific, horrific acts of violence, killing Americans, wounding Americans, as well as other awful actions in that whole region and beyond. We are not at war with Iran, Iran though. And, and so in order to do this strike, you have to have a justifiable authorization for the use, use of military force. And the president has made lots of claims about intelligence information. You've seen presidents lie or have faulty information in the past that got us into the war in Iraq. And so we, as a senator on the Foreign Relations Committee, I have an obligation uh, to do everything I can to make sure that they had the authorization to use military force. I believe this president has violated authorizations to use, had no authorization to use for military force, for example, to strike at the Assad regime who we're not at war with. So we're, we, a lot of information has to still come out, but this is what I do know, is this president has had no Iran strategy, and that his pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal, the Iran anti-nuclear deal, uh, by him having no larger strategy, the region has gotten less secure and more dangerous. Iran has more influence than it did at the beginning of its presidency. And his so-called maximum force uh, uh, efforts have proven to be uh, um, uh, really a failure. The other news coming out of the campaign today concerns fundraising. We'll show you this graphic. Most of the candidates announcing their takes for the final quarter. Cory Booker made his announcement today, $6.6 .6 million. A pittance compared to some of the numbers announced earlier this week. But for Cory Booker, he says that's a record breaker. So the glass half full here in Nashua. On the Booker Beat, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.